Hi, and welcome to see the PowerShell OneGet in action. PowerShell OneGet is a Windows package management aggregator to work with package managers in PowerShell. It is a built-in native Windows tool available in Windows 10. Starting from build 9926, it is working out of the box. Although still in development, it already works well enough to show you what it is capable of. To get more information about OneGet, what it is and what it does, Check the blog of Senior Open Source Engineer and the head of the OneGet development team, Garrett Serek at MSDN. You can also follow the development of OneGet at GitHub and of course in related threads and tutorials at temforums.com. Follow at PS1Get on Twitter for the latest news and to stay up to date. All links can be found in the video description. Let's start by launching the PowerShell in administrator mode. Search for PowerShell, right click and select run as administrator. If you prefer the ISE version of PowerShell, search for that instead. I have already added PowerShell ISE to my quick launch toolbar and launch it from there. Available commands, or rather commandlets as they are called in PowerShell, for one get module can be found in the ISE version of PowerShell in the commands pane on the right. If you are using the standard PowerShell, you can find the commandlets with the command get hyphen command space hyphen module space one get. By default, only a few package providers have been installed. To see which, use the commandlet get hyphen package provider. As most of the packages, these are the application installers, that we're going to use can at the moment be found in the chocolatey package provider, we will add that to the system first. Chocolatey needs the PowerShell script execution policy to be unrestricted. We need to set that first with the command set hyphen execution policy space unrestricted. If you are uncomfortable with unrestricted execution policy, you can always set it back to restricted after we are done. With the execution policy set, we can now add the chocolatey provider. We can add providers simply by adding an available provider to the get-package-provider commandlet. In this case, to add the chocolatey provider, we use the command get-package-provider space chocolatey. Adding chocolatey will also add the new get provider.
Now let's see which packages we have available. To search packages, we use the find-package commandlet. Without any arguments, it lists all available packages in installed providers. I recommend piping the list to a grid view for better readability. This can take a while to populate the list as there are thousands of packages available, so please be patient. OK, there's lots of stuff there. You can select all with Control A and copy with Control C and then paste to a file if you want to save the list. You can also format the output with usual PowerShell formatting commands and export to an XML file. To get a more readable list in case you want to save it, select the name column and version column if you also want to have version information available. Now let's install VLC Player for example's sake. If the latest available version of an application is what you want and you already know the package name, then the command is simple. Install hyphen package space package name. In this case, install hyphen package space VLC. This will install a VLC player on our system. The provider, Chocolatey in this case, tells the system where to go to get the installer. The system then downloads and installs it. To install multiple applications at the same time, separate package names with a comma. Let's try to install two browsers with one command. The command is simply install hyphen package space opera comma space google chrome. This will install the latest versions of both chrome and opera browsers.
Checking the installed programs, you will now see that VLC, Chrome and Opera were installed. What about if you want to install an older version of an application? With OneGet, it is quite easy. Let's uninstall VLC and install an earlier version of it. As you can see, the uninstall hyphen package space VLC command gives an error. It finds more than one VLC package installed and can't decide which to uninstall. This is because after installing the package, both its installers and the application itself are now present. The system has two VLC packages. To uninstall multiple packages without needing to know the exact names, I simply search for them, pipe the output to a grid view window, select the packages to uninstall and pass the selection through to the uninstaller which uninstalls them. OK, now an earlier version of VLC. I will search for all available versions of VLC with the command find hyphen package space VLC space hyphen all versions. Pipe the results to a grid view window, select the version I want to install and finally pass my selection through to the install hyphen package commandlet. And we are done. Now we have installed the exact version of VLC player we wanted. See the OneGet tutorial at www.temforums.com for more in-depth instructions.